हेलो ऑल आई एम पुनाश्री पाटिल फ्रॉम ए आई एस एस एम एस आई आई टी कॉलेज पुणे सो टुडे वी हैव टू लर्न अबाउट दी फंक्शंस इन द पाइथन सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी व्हाट इज मीन बाय फंक्शन सो फंक्शन इज द ब्लॉक ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइज एंड रियूजेबल प्रोग्राम कोड दैट परफॉर्म्स ए सिंगल एंड स्पेसिफिक एंड वेल डिफाइंड टास्क सो नेक्स्ट वन इज द वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ फंक्शन सो इट रिड्यूसिंग द डुप्लिकेशन ऑफ द कोड decomposing problems into simple pieces improving clarity of the code reuse of code and information hiding so function having the top down approach means what so we have to divide our main functions into sub sub functions so this is the top down approach so next one is the how to define the functions so first we have to use the keyword as the def for defining the function then uh, it is followed by the function name or parenthesis and uh, after parenthesis we have to use the colon parameters and argument that functions accepts are placed within the parenthesis but that are the optional so the first statement of the function can be optional statement the documentation string of the function or doc string describe the what the functions that does then code block within the function is properly indented to form the block code the function may have the return statement but it is also optional so here are there are the two parts of the function definition first one is the function header and function body so syntax for that is the function in function header we have to write the your function name and then you have to pass the variables or arguments for that functions and in function body you have to write down the documentation string number of statements of blocks and then the return statement and in write down you have to expression for that so how to call the functions so function call statement invoke the functions when a function is invoked the program control jumps to the call functions to execute the statements that are the part of that functions once we have to call the functions is executed program control pass back to the calling functions so syntax for that is the we have to use only the function name for that or uh, function name for that and you have to pass the parameters for that so here is the example for subtraction of the two numbers using functions you have to use here def as the keyword then def is the your function name x and y are the variables so you have to use the return method x minus y we have to assign the values for that is the a is equal to 20 b is equal to 10 and call by function by using the def a comma b so we have to get the output as the difference between that two values that is 20 minus 10 that is 10 so next one is the what is the variable scope and lifetime so scope is nothing but the part of the program in which the variable is existed and lifetime of the variable is the period throughout which the variable exists in the memory so there are the two types of variables global variable and local variables so global variables means what the functions or variables or parameters that are defined inside the functions which which are not accessible from outside it is called as the local variable and global variables which are defined in the main body of the program and which is accessed outside the functions so these are very visible throughout the program so here is the example of the local variable and global variable so next one is the difference between that the global variable and uh, local variable so next one is the return statements so return statement in python having every function expected to have return statement the syntax for that is the we have to use the return as the keyword and in the rectangle bracket you have to write down this expression so return statement is used for two things return the value to the caller functions or to the end and exit the function and go back to its uh, caller so here is the example of the return functions we have to use the uh, uh, calculate here area of circle so return in result we have to calculate that area and by using return we have to pass the variables to the uh, result result so we have to get the result uh, as the area of circle so this is the all about the function in